Racing games have always held a soft spot in our hearts, from the days of Excite Bike on the NES to Mario Kart and eventually Gran Turismo and Forza Horizon. The future holds no shortage of racing games, and regardless of which side you fall on, realism or arcade, there's something for everyone in the upcoming titles. Let's take a closer look. Dirt Rally 2.0 Yes, Dirt 4 was considered the more complete gameplay experience, however Dirt Rally circumvented that game's procedurally generated tracks and focused more on the hardcore rally racing experience. With Dirt Rally 2.0, we can look forward to weather affecting a vehicle's grip, tracks degrading and further affecting grip, and much, much more. Even those who couldn't surpass the first game's initial difficulty curve will have tutorials to look forward to. Dirt Rally 2.0 is out February 2019 for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Project Cars 3 Before announcing a new console, yes, seriously, Slightly Mad Studios confirmed that Project Cars 3 was in development, which is funny because Project Cars 2 released in September 2017. Slightly Mad CEO Ian Bell did say beforehand to not hold your breath on timings. However, he also said the development team plans to blow anything else planned by anyone else out of the water. So draw your own conclusions, including whether it will be out for this gen or next. Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Much like Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy, this is a remaster of Naughty Dog's Crash Team Racing, which originally released in 1999. The entire game has been revamped with new graphical assets, from the characters to the environments, but also there are a few new features. These include new tracks, some vehicles from Crash Nitro Kart, and online multiplayer. Out in June for the Xbox One, PS4, and Nintendo Switch, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled seems poised to recapture the magic of the PS1 classic. Assetto Corsa Competizione The follow-up to Assetto Corsa that's already available on Steam Early Access. This is looking to be an eSports platform. It's officially licensed from the 2018 Blanc Pain GT Series season with all 10 circuits and their sprints and endurance cups included. The sequel has also moved to Unreal Engine 4 while making use of motion capture animations, making it even more realistic than its predecessor. Currently planned for a release window of Q1 2019, we'll see if it's eventually announced for PS4 and Xbox One in the coming months. Team Sonic Racing The Sonic kart racing game that you know and love is back! Sort of. Developed by Sumo Digital, Team Sonic Racing forgoes the vehicle transforming of previous games in favor of cooperative team-based racing. Players race as teams and win by contributing points to the total score. It's odd, for sure, but at least it features 15 different characters, 21 tracks, some returning from previous games, and a story campaign. Team Sonic Racing is out on May 21st for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch. GTR 3 it may seem like a relatively unknown title, but Simbin Studios' GTR series has been around for quite a while. The last release was GTR 2 in 2006. GTR 3 will once again have players assuming the role of a GT professional racer as they partake in the FIA World Endurance Championship. The only real issue is the lack of details. GTR 3 is slated to release in Q2 2019, but we've yet to see new gameplay footage or information about the cars and tracks. Better late than never, perhaps. Xenon Racer Xenon Racer is set in a future where flying vehicles are about to become the competitive norm. So of course, there's a championship meant for cars taking place in futuristic cities like Dubai and Tokyo, courtesy of different vehicle manufacturers. The cars themselves are powered by Xenon gas, resulting in plenty of boosting and fast-paced racing. Along with a robust car customization system, Xenon Racer features single-player, split-screen, and online multiplayer modes. It won't dethrone the likes of Forza or Gran Turismo, but another fast-paced racing title certainly won't hurt. Xenon Racer releases in March for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch. Dangerous Driving Three Fields' Dangerous Driving is taking a lot of cues from Criterion's Burnout franchise, and that's completely intentional. Designed by Burnout co-creators Fiona Sperry and Alex Ward, Dangerous Driving will take the studio's understanding of destruction and chaos into a whole range of racing modes, from survival and pursuit from Burnout 1 and 2 to road rage and takedowns from Burnout 3 and Revenge. Dangerous Driving could be the successor that fans have been waiting for. It arrives on February 22nd for Xbox One, PS4, and PC. Monster Energy Supercross 2 The Official Video Game 
a Supercross racing game to balance out all of the car racing. Well, Monster Energy Supercross 2 just might fill the gap as players train and hone their skills across four training tracks while pursuing a schedule of events, challenges, and sponsors. Over 80 official riders, tons of avatar and bike customization items, and a track editor are included. Monster Energy Supercross 2, the official video game, is out in February for Xbox One, Nintendo Switch, PS4, and PC. Descenders Extreme downhill freeriding may not be your thing, and probably shouldn't be if you value your bones, but that's what Rage Squid's Descenders is for. Currently in Steam Early Access and Xbox Game Preview, Descenders has you pick a team, each with their own unique identity, and earn rep for exclusive gear. From there, it's the dead cells of downhill freeriding as you race through procedurally generated worlds, unlock mutators to augment your style, and attempt to survive a run. Say what you will, but the roguelite twist makes this worth paying attention to this year. Kartcraft Another racing title that's currently in Steam Early Access, Kartcraft is about professional kart racing. Don't let all those years of Mario Kart fool you though, Kartcraft pits you against 20 other opponents, racing at high speeds while attempting to not spin out on the next corner. More than 60 components and over 1,000 parts for modifying one's kart, along with realistically modeled circuits like Paul Fletcher International and G-Long Kart Club await. Kartcraft is bound for Xbox One, PC, and PS4 with the full launch planned for this year. F1 2019 Last we checked, Codemasters still held the rights for games based on the Formula One World Championship. To that end, F1 2019 from Codemasters Birmingham seems a given for release this year. Details and an official announcement are still to come, but the series has always delivered on its promise of a detailed career mode and realistic Formula One racing. Let's just hope the quality of improvements continues and surpasses that of F1 2018. Next Forza Predicting the next Forza title is tricky. Playground Games is busy on its open-world RPG, so while you could argue that its second studio is handling that, the developer already released Forza Horizon 4 in 2018 so there's no doubt that there will be support continuing for the same. Meanwhile, Turn 10 Studios is still focused on Forza Motorsport 7, and has even confirmed that the 8th installment isn't coming in 2019. So while the next Forza may be in development, it's highly likely to skip this year. Drift 19 Drift 19 is, stop the presses, a drifting simulator. But drifting is only the beginning. Players will have championships and events to take part in, but Drift 19 also indulges in the history of the sport. You'll find classic cars, fine-tune them, and subsequently rebuild them into drifting monsters. With support for popular racing wheels and online multiplayer, Drift 19 could end up being the first de facto drifting title that's worth checking out. It's out this year on PC, with PS4 and Xbox One versions also in the works. Trials Rising Look, it's another Trials game. After Trials of the Blood Dragon sucked away our enthusiasm and just plain sucked, Trials Rising is going back to what makes the franchise great. That means plenty of obstacles, physics-based racing, and attempting runs in locations like the Eiffel Tower and Mount Everest without losing your mind. Custom course creation is also confirmed, but perhaps the best new feature is Tandem Bike. Two players must work together to ride on one bike, which you know is just going to be hilarious to watch. Trials Rising is out on February 26th for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Nintendo Switch. And that about does it for this video. If you enjoyed what you watched and want to see more from Gaming Bolt, you can always hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell icon next to it. That way you will never miss any of our videos.